Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Rainer and today I am announcing a brand new competition. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you would like to see more information over this about Neverwinter, hit the subscribe button. So, if you guys are follow have been following my channel, uh, maybe you've not, maybe you've come here because you've heard of this competition. I have been very busy making this Neverwinter Character Builder Plus um, regarding the Ascension update on preview of course um, and today I want to do a competition around this character builder. I already mentioned this in the previous video and today it's actually going to start. Um, there's of course also the Winter Festival going on but uh, yeah. Uh, that's the same as previous years, so not that many new things to do. So let's just see this as another small event. So, um, as I said, competition, there's actually not one, not two, but actually three competitions starting at the same time. Um, I want to make a competition around these average here, these average values here. So we have build scores that I added into uh, 0.8, the version of the game. Uh, we have a build score for damage, we have a build score for healing, and we have a build score for effective HP, which you could see as a tank. Um, yeah, as a, as a, as a tank score. Uh, and each of these three, I want to have a competition for one, which has the highest average damage, one who has the highest average healing, and one who has the highest average effective HP. Um, let's go to the rules. So, uh, rule number one, uh, those are the three competitions. Rule number two, you must make the build in Character Builder Plus version 0.8.2. I just released it, so if you already have one, you have to download the next one. It's a very tiny update, but it is important, uh, especially for the tank competition, it's important. So make sure to use version 0 0.8.2. Um, this will make sure that we have the same baseline for everyone. Uh, you can download this builder for free. A uh, link is in the description. Uh, it's a raw file, so you have to also have something to extract the raw file. I know that a lot of people don't know how to do that if you don't know feel free to ask i will explain everything everyone is able to participate it's all free no pay needed um, then if you want to participate there are three things that are the minimum that you have to fill in and that's the uh, the class you have to fill in the class you have to fill in the race and you have to fill in a paragon that's it. The rest is all optional. You don't have to fill it in. I think it's probably smart to fill more in than that because otherwise you will not have that high score here. Uh, but those are the minimum things. There are some situations where leaving out stuff is actually better. But I'll leave up that uh, optimization, those optimization steps for you guys. Um, then... Um, the DPS Paragons, so as I said, you have to fill in a Paragon here. If you have a DPS Paragon selected, you will automatically participate in the DPS competition. If you select the Heal Paragon, you participate in the Heal competition. And of course, if you select a Tank Paragon, you will automatically participate in the Tank Paragon, uh, in the Tank competition. Uh, you don't have to make a build for your own class or something, you can pick whatever you want, but that's the rule. Uh, in some cases, I can, I can imagine that uh, your healing score will be higher on the DPS Paragon, but that's not allowed. You have to make a healer on the heal Paragons, and a DPS on the DPS Paragons, etc. Um, then, the Combat Simulator, which you can find under View Combat Simulator, um, this has to be set uh, at Combat advantage uptime has to be set to 75%. You can slide it higher now and lower, but this has to be 75%. It's only important for the DPS uh, competition, but 75% and you can select in a party. That's fine. In combat, I explicitly want to not use 
because all of those equip bonuses that are currently in the builder are the old ones and they're going to be reworked so they're not going to be correct anyway so just leave that out a uh, runic aura i also think that's going to be reworked somehow uh, so let's also leave those so let's let's just leave those two off they still have you if you do enable them or set your combat advantage up time higher or don't yeah, you don't have to enable this. Um, no, I will just set this automatically for myself if you if you did this. But if you optimize the round in combat, that's that's not gonna work out because I will set those settings like they are here. Then um, custom stuff. Uh, the character builder has options to make custom gear and custom artifacts. You can imagine that you can pretty heavily cheat in there. The issue is uh, custom gear and custom artifacts do not move along with your save file. So if you send the save file to me and I will load the save file then my builder will say I don't know what this item is so I cannot load this. And that will mean that the slot that you put that item in will be empty. Uh, which is of course not going to be very practical or beneficial for your build. So uh, leave out custom gear, custom gear and custom artifacts. They are not allowed to be used. If you do use them, any, uh, once again, um, you will not win, I think. Um, when you are finished making a build, you can save it like this. And it will actually tell you where you have saved your build. This file here is a text file with all the um, uh, things that you put into your build, send this file either to my email reiner.neverwinter at gmail.com or send it to me on Discord. Um, you can find me on my Discord server. Uh, the link to my Discord is in the description as, uh, once again. Uh, or, as I said, email it to me reiner.neverwinter at gmail.com um, Everyone can send as many builds as they want. Uh, of course, don't send duplicates, that will not uh, have any impact. Uh, but if you want to participate in a DPS healing and tank competitions, that's fine. If you want to send in two uh, DPS builds, it's also fine. Whatever you want. Of course, only the highest one counts, but um, you, you can send in as many of you as you want. They will be in the high score list, uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, if you have identical builds from the same person, they will be filtered out, of course. Um, yeah, that's going to be weird otherwise. If we have a tie, so let's say um, we have two people who have exactly the same value here. I will look at the maximum then as the second step to try and break the tie. If it's still a tie, well, I guess I'll have to figure out what to do then. Maybe look at the minimum. And then otherwise it's just a tie. Uh, it's gonna be only important for the first place, I guess, uh, because that's where the prize is gonna, gonna be. Uh, then the next thing, all supplied bills are possibly going to be shared to the community. So I have a Discord server, as I said. I will make a channel for this with all the high scores. I'm gonna make a high score per role, but also a high score per um, class slash Paragon. So we're gonna have a lot of high scores. I think there's like 16 and then three overall high scores. I'm gonna make those overviews and they're all gonna be in my Discord server. And that's where also I will be sharing builds. So we will have a nice collection of builds if enough people participate. Um, so yeah, then. What is included in these values? This is important because that's where you're going to have to optimize. Let's start with DPS. So this damage value. If you look at this value here, what is included? Uh, of course, damage. And damage is related to item level. So um, that's in there. We have power, of course. Uh, critical strike. Critical severity. Combat advantage. And accuracy. Those are all in this average here. Um, then we go to the heal value. The heal value, uh, 
a couple less items in there because combat advantage and accuracy of course don't do anything we have also the damage value here which is uh, in this case healing but it's also a damage value um, then power is also in there critical strike we have critical severity in there with a 50 percent efficiency just like the game and of course outgoing healing is also included in this value for the tank the average effective hp here what is included we of course have hit points which once again is um, pulled out of total item level here um, we have uh, the other hit point sources of course because hit points are in there then we have defense uh, in the current state that it's in there's some discussion about that but it's in the current state uh, deflect is in there deflect severity and critical avoidance is in there awareness at this point is not included in this average and um, then of course a competition needs prizes and i have prizes for all platforms uh, let's start with the easy one if a pc player wins they will get a bonding runestone rank 15 worth 2.6 million ad uh, for all roles so dps heal and tank for each of those three, I will pick one number one spot. And everyone else, of course, will uh, also be in the high score list. So you will also be in there um, and mentioned, of course, you get personal credits for your build. Um, but yeah, so the first place price is a bonding runestone rank 15 worth 2.6 million AD if you are on PC. If someone from console wins, sadly I cannot give bondings out to console because I don't have an account on console. But they get to pick one of the special mount skins from the following list. On Xbox I have boar mounts, I have green crabs, I have verdurous lions and skeletal dogs. So if someone from Xbox wins, they can pick one of these mounts and they will get that one. Uh, for PS4, I have a little bit different list. I have the Purple Owlbear, the Blue Crab, the Azurius Lion, and I have Skeletal Dogs. Um, so the competition will start effectively right now, and it will run until the 2nd of January. On the 3rd of January, I will pick the winners. Um, if something is up, there's not enough people participating or anything like that, uh, I might extend it, but for now those are the dates. So 2nd of January is the last day that you can, you can send me um, the, your builds. And on the 3rd I will pick the winners. Um, so yeah, uh, let's have some fun with this stuff. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this competition. I think it's going to be cool to find some new nice builds. Um, maybe important to also mention is that, for example, equip bonuses, also because they're not enabled in the combat simulator, but if you have equip bonuses that grant you additional damage or something like that, that's not in here. I want to explicitly mention that. If you have procs that give additional healing, it's not in there. Weapon enchantments and stuff like that, it's not included, so it's not necessarily the totally optimized build. Uh, but we're going to work on these around these average values here. I want to see them as high as they can get um, So let's get cracking guys. Uh, I myself will not be participating. Uh, this is just an example build I haven't tuned it that much, but yeah, it's an example of what you can imagine So that's it uh, If you have any remarks on this video or any suggestions of what to investigate next Feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.